before you is a champion of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. Maybe, but what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Another life, the man was a writer. He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Somewhere within the earth, space itself has been pierced and the dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the He must put an end to this. 
this madness. Stay here now. This isn't gonna be good. Is this on? How can you tell? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with gadgets. <laughs> That's more like it. I'll be right with you. I just gotta do this one thing. I like it quiet. I bet you're wondering why this is happening. Why am I doing all this? Why am I so hell-bent on ruining your life? You're cramping my style. You've got money, fame, everything you could want. But you don't know what to do with it. I do. I'm getting all the things you never had the balls to go for. Having more fun, too. <laughs> do you know the real difference between us? I'm not afraid to be the center of attention. <laughs> 
This poor slob's just collateral damage, really. I mean, made some information out of him earlier. But this part? This is just for kicks. So quiet. Enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the books. Man, I actually saw them twice back in the 70s. I was just a kid then, but my dad was at this club. I see fans, see fans all the time, you know. Talk about an education. Anyway, great band, couple of great albums, solid fan base, and then they kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Well, now, almost four decades later, they're making a comeback. And let me tell you, these boys have seen a lot of road. They're some serious rock and roll veterans. Because they weren't too young, even back in the day. Well, now I've got Odin and Tor Anderson, two of the original old gods, in the studio with me, along with their manager, Barry Wheeler. Nice to have you guys. Oh, hey, great to be here, Eddie. Yeah, hey. Hello. Now, boys, let me just come around and say this, all right? Spring chickens, you ain't. <laughs> I mean, you guys, you make the stones look young. <laughs> The only as old as you feel. <laughs> Who you call it old? <laughs> now, your last album was 1978, In the Valley of My Shadow. And then you stopped playing all together after that. Why? And, and what made you do a comeback after all this time? Well, <laughs> it was a sad thing. See, the original bass player for Old Gods, Fat Bomb Balder, passed away in... Lutania! Bob had leukemia, poor bastard. Yeah, after that, we didn't feel like playing no more. Long story short, I ran into these guys up in Washington, and it was obvious to me that they still got it. So I figured, hey, let's make some music, right? And they went for it. Now, Barry, you were a literary agent before this, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, and you were very successful. You represented Alan Wake, I believe, who disappeared under mysterious... Yeah, 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 that's... Hey, I just want to talk about old gods tonight. Is that cool? Can we do that? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Listen, why don't we take a little break, and then later on in the program, we'll hear the new Old God single. Stay tuned, folks. Well, at least Barry landed on his feet. Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, What's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. 
just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember, you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um, now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. I'm very sensitive to things like that. There's a bunch of stuff I need to find. The things mentioned on that page? Well, there's a lot of old crap lying around this place. Great, thanks. I think you should be able to find everything, except the satellite, obviously. Are you gonna tell me what this is? I don't think that'd go over too well. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Fine. The page is a formula for rewriting reality. Either I use it to close a strange portal to a place that isn't in our world, or shadowy serial killer monster things keep pouring out of there. Yeah, you were right the first time. You can think what you want about me, but there's still bad guys around. Be careful. Well, you might be nuts, but I've seen the way they move, the way they look. I'll buy that. They're called Taken. They aren't really human. Not anymore. And they're climbing out of the oil well? What, do they have secret headquarters down there, or...? No, that's just where the point of connection is. It's a hole that leads to... well, it's a really nasty place. That's why I need to close it. And the guy who looks like you opened it, because he was hanging around the oil field before. He gets around, unfortunately. Thanks for helping me. Oh, I wish I thought you were just a nutcase. Actually, I kind of expected you to. Me too. But I feel like this is how it's supposed to go. Isn't that weird? Not really. I get that a lot in my line of work. What do you do anyway? I'm a writer. Obviously. What was that you said about my aura? Oh, I'm very spiritual, you know. I can see auras, but I only use it for healing and helping people. I'm like a wise woman, you know? I give people insight and advice. Look, just because I say crazy things doesn't mean I believe everything. Don't be like that. Maybe you should take a few crystals with you if you're going out there. It might be dangerous. They soothe your energies and focus your mind. It's fantastic. And they help me take out the bad guys? Oh, well, no, not as such. Yeah, okay, I think I'm- Or I have some wonderfully potent herbal detox suppositories. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Champion of Light recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design, custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed.
At the oil derrick, the wheel had been jammed in place and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Kasabian CD was playing in the boombox, all distorted guitars and intense beat. High above, some piece of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Trailing debris, it screamed down from the skies at an impossibly steep angle. All that high-tech engineering reduced to nothing more than a bullet that would destroy whatever it hit. we take for granted is softer, more adaptable than we think. Under correct conditions, you can reshape it, turn it into almost anything you want. When it happens, almost nobody notices. It's not that we forget, it's that after the change, there's nothing to remember. Only those who have been directly touched by the powers that can shift reality are aware of the changes. Many are driven mad by it, others can cope. I'm one of those people and I know how to wield that power to rewrite reality. just messed up. Something tells me I'm really gonna need the extra firepower. That's everything. 
The man has found the battery, but it is empty. It will need to be recharged. I guess it's about time I went full auto. I need this battery charged. No problem. Here you go. Thanks. Listen, I don't know what's gonna happen exactly when I do this. My memory's a little hazy. I don't even know what that means. All I'm saying is you don't want to come anywhere near the oil field, all right? This thing could get out of hand. In the middle of highly flammable materials. Great. I'll do my best to contain it. Just please don't turn out to be some kind of crazy terrorist guy, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go now. Wish me luck. Wait a sec, I want to ask you about something first. What did you mean with that my memory's a little hazy thing? I had a pretty rough time coming here. It was like being caught in a tsunami. I blacked out for a while. It's hard to explain. There's a, a barrier of sorts that I had to break through. I was lucky to make it here with my wits as intact as they are. So you might have brain damage, you're about to do great things with a magic piece of paper, and you came here from another dimension? No, I'm from New York. I, I was just visiting another dimension. Oh, yeah, okay. My bad. 